In this tutorial, we will find out how much force required to compress the spring 10 mm downward direction. So we will see, we will first we will create this spring and we will make all the necessary steps to find out the required force in Newton. First step is prepare the model. So we are going to create the model top plane is sketch activate circle and here I am going to draw 10 millimeter enter press escape key to out and go to feature activate here helix and spiral. Now we are going to create a spring defined by pitch and revolution constant size now pitch 7 revolution Uh, pitch 3 revolution 7 angle 0 clockwise okay now just activate swift boss base now here choose circular profile and here I am going to select diameter 1 you will see okay now I want to trim from both sides so that we will get a flat surface we need flat surface to move a spring up and down and also we need to fix spring from one side go to surface activate here cut with surface now here I am going to select top plane now you will see arrow goes downward say ok and this is trimmed from back side let me hide click and hide spiral now one let me create a plane reference plane top plane and height is going to be 21 because 7 into 3 it's you will see this is going to be lies at center okay no let me check uh, spring look okay Sip, cut with surface now see the arrow is goes downward simply reverse direction say okay look let me hide okay second step for simulation is apply material so I am going to apply material for spring right click edit material now this time I am going for DIN standard material now here you will see DIN steel stainless steel now here I am going to apply this 1.43108 18 into 8 this is the material for a spring you will see all the properties here once you click apply material will change okay that's it now go to SOLIDWORKS add ins and here select SOLIDWORKS simulation and it will take few seconds to appear here just wait uh, ok the simulation tab appear now here select new study now I am going to give the name spring force because we are going to find out how much force required to compress the spring 10 millimeter downward direction okay now this study is about linear study and select static not dynamic say okay okay now we already start third uh, third uh, step we already taken is start simulation study now the fourth option this is single procedure uh, body so we don't need connections fixture you will see if I am going to just see material already applied right click fix geometry fix geometry now the base we are going to fix so we are going to select this one and this is going to fix select ok now I want to compress spring from top face to downward direction so we need to apply one more fixture you will see here fix advanced fixture ok now simply choose on flat face now select the face so I am going to select this face come down normal to face this is the 10 millimeter reverse direction see arrow goes downward direction and activate these also direction 2 keep 0 direction 1 also keep 0 see direction 1 0 direction 2 0 direction 3 10 millimeter downward direction variation with time linear 
ट्रांसलेशन डायमेंशन मिलीमीटर नाउ से ओके लुक नाउ राइट क्लिक ऑन मैश क्रिएट मैश नाउ हियर आई एम गोइंग टू कीप स्टैंडर्ड इफ यू ड्रॉप डाउन यू कैन चेंज द साइज ऑफ मैश बट वी विल कीप एज इट इज वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज एनी थिंग से ओके नाउ इट विल टेक फ्यू सेकेंड जस्ट कीप होल्ड now you will see there is a fine mesh these triangles are elements mesh and uh, these dots are there is a small small dots and these lines are element see if you keep finer side you will get accurate result but it will take too much time to calculate so i keep on mid no fine no coarse okay now the next step step number 7 run this say okay there is a small error but let's see what will happen now it will may take time because our cores are finer and you will see just take here and see this is going to calculate see this is moving toward downward it will calculate and definitely it, it it takes time now we are done here you will see three types of by default three result stress displacement strain i want to see displacement so right click show see even do right click and here choose chart option and here activate max and minimum annotations and even though see these displacement in millimeter but it is in scientific way so let's come down here change floating say okay look how much displacement maximum displacement 10 millimeter what we actually feeded minimum displacement 0 okay even if you want to see animation just uh, make little animate just make little slower now again it will calculate and see you will see the color going to change and you will realize the displacement okay even though show animate now you will see stress now actually we want to find how much force required to compress the spring 10 mm downward direction so in result right click and here you will find option list result force okay now what options reaction force i want to find out reaction force now here in selection we have to select the faces plane which is going to fixed so this bottom face this is going to fix okay now this one plot step everything keep as it is now here select update now you will see the result now resultant 14.47 this is actually the force required to compress the spring 10 mm downward direction now here you will see response graph now click and you will see just take bigger or let's expand now see some y see this graph if you select go move your cursor near edge and you will find here see at bottom mid let's me check try to keep near on the edge see it seems 14.45 something 
सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन फाइंड मैक्सी मैक्सीम फोर्स अप्लाई टू प्रेस दी स्प्रिंग कॉम्प्रेस दी स्प्रिंग टेन मिलीमीटर डाउनवर्ड डिरेक्शन आई होप यू लाइक इट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेव दिस ग्राफ जस्ट सिंपली क्लिक एंड सेव डोंट फर्गेट टू शेयर लाइक अवर वीडियो एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियो एंड मोर प्रोजेक्ट्स इन सॉलिड वर्कस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हाइड दिस सिंपली राइट क्लिक ऑन फिक्सचर हाइड ऑल दिस सिम्बल्स थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग